occurs in here. This question we're asked to show that x plus 3 is a factor of this polynomial. Let's have a look at this. We'll call the polynomial f of x. So that's a fourth degree polynomial. And if we're trying to show that x plus 3 is a factor, we have to divide it and show that the remainder is equal to 0. Suppose we have 8 and we're dividing it by 4. It goes 2 times with a remainder of 0. Therefore, 4 is a factor of 8. And we do the same in this case. The division is set up by using a negative 3 when we divide by x plus 3. We then write down the coefficients of this polynomial, making sure that all terms are present. If a term is missing, for instance, if the x squared term is missing, we'd have to put in a 0. But there's the coefficients, 3, 10, 1, negative 8, negative 6. And the procedure we use, which you'll be familiar with, bring down the 3, multiply 3 and the negative 3, then add these two terms together, multiply the 1 and the negative 3, add these two terms, multiply the negative 2 and the negative 3 together, add these two terms, multiply the negative 2 and the negative 3 together, add these two terms, and we get 0. Now, we'd have to explain what's gone on since when f of x is divided by x plus 3, the remainder is 0. Then that means x plus 3 is a factor of f of x. Now it tells us a wee bit more, and this uh, information that's held in this division, synthetic division scheme that we've just performed, is held in these numbers here. And it's just in the same, the same information that's held here, that if we're dividing 4 into 8 and it goes 2 times, then 4 times 2 will equal 8. In the same way, x plus 3 times this polynomial will equal the original polynomial. So let me spell this out. x plus 3 times... Now, since we've divided a degree 4 polynomial, the degree will go down by 1. So we'll get a cubic polynomial, a degree 3 polynomial. So this 3 will be the coefficient of x cubed term, plus 1 x squared minus 2 x minus 2, plus a remainder of 0. So x plus 3 was a factor of this, and it goes this number of times. 4 is a factor of 8, and it goes 2 times. 4 times 2 is 8. x plus 3 times this gives me this original polynomial. Now, it says factorise fully in part b. I haven't shown you part b. There it is. Hence, or otherwise factorise this fully. So we have to continue and test whether this cubic expression has factors. Now, we're on our own here. In the first part, we were uh, led to a factor, and we were led to using negative 3 because we were told x plus 3 is a factor. We're not told any factors for this cubic expression. So it's like hunting for gold. We might be lucky, we might not. We would try x plus 1, x minus 1, x plus 2, x minus 1. So we'll try a negative 1, a 1, a negative 2, a 2. Let's try systematically. We'd probably try 1, then negative 1, 2, then negative 2, and so on. 
So let's try one, put down the coefficients of that cubic expression and perform the synthetic division screen. Bring down the three, three ones of three, add four, four times one is four, add two, two times one is two, add, we get zero. Now, our hunt for gold was successful first time. We've struck gold, we've got a zero. We now know that x minus one is a factor of this expression. And just like we can write eight as, say, two times four, this part can be factorized further. Four is two times two. So f of x, we know we've written as x plus three times this cubic. We can now factor this cubic into x minus one is one of the factors since the remainder was zero. The other factor, again, the information lies in these numbers here. And because we were dividing a degree three polynomial by a linear factor, we now have a degree two polynomial, or what you know is a quadratic uh, polynomial, quadratic expression. So three x squared, three is the coefficient of the x squared term, plus 4x, plus 2. And again, we have to wonder whether this can be factored. Now, you can try your two brackets, 3x, x, 2 and 1, try all sorts of combinations. You'll discover that that cannot be factorised further. But we need, really need to give a, a, a better reason other than the fact that your attempts can't work. You might not just not be very good at factorising. So for, we'll have to declare that for x squared plus 4x plus 2, and the clue rank lies in the discriminant. That's b squared minus 4ac. Now in this case, discriminant is 4 squared, that's b squared minus 4 times a is 3 and c is 2. So we have 16 minus 24, which is negative 8. And since this discriminant is less than 0, 3x squared plus 4x plus 2 cannot factorise. So that means we've factorised f of x fully. And that's our final answer. That's Mr. Corsi signing out. Hope you enjoyed the video.